Hello, my beautiful people. So, Big Rob is back in her kitchen tonight. Today, I'm just doing something nice and simple where anybody can make it. From your mama on down to your child. Okay. Ooh, that shit is popping. I do have my olive oil on. I like to grill my food. So, I am making the Angus steak. That's what I'm making today. All right. So y'all can go on over here to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. Give me those fat thumbs up. Like the video and share, share, share. You see, that's why you have to wait until your pot is dry. And I done went on and put that grease up in there, that oil, olive oil. And I was popping all over the place. So y'all bear with me. Okay, guys, so uh, Big Rob is back, all right? Let, let me explain to you what goes on when you don't dry your meat. Dry that pot that you're going to cook in very well, okay? Because I like to wash my dishes. Even though my dishes are clean, I still like to wash them. Dry it. The same thing with your meat, honey, because it will cause a fire. Grease does not go with water. But anyway, guys, y'all look at me. Take a look at Big Rob, the weight that she's losing. You know, you see, Big Rob is in the house. I should be a model. Y'all see that? I'm going to be getting an intro soon. I'm going to be doing lashes. Okay, guys? So y'all give me support. I'm going to make an announcement on TikTok, on all my social media accounts. So, I'm going to be getting all different sizes, honey. Even the ones that look like they're flying. But, yeah. So, let's get back to, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the cooking. I so me. So, okay. So, I did put my steak in. That's a nice little piece of steak. That steak is beautiful. So I have my steak going. And just let it cook. Just leave it just like that. You ain't got to keep turning it. Let it cook. I'll be back. Hey guys. I didn't forget you. My steak is cooking. You see the blood. <clears throat> my steak is cooking. You see the blood. Okay, I don't do all that flipping. Y'all already know. I keep repeating myself. I, I don't do it. I let, let that let it cook. Let your meat cook. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway. I don't know if you guys got the beginning of my video. I'm going to say it again. Big Rob is back in her kitchen. Do y'all see the weight that I have lost? Yes, darling. And yeah, I could probably go on myself because it's me. I'm happy. I had got all the way up to over 300 pounds. Okay? And I'm steady losing. Look. I am in the house. Y'all see that? Let me step back. Let me stop. But anyway, guys, I want you to be safe out there. Um, now, we already got the first and the second shot. Now they're talking about the booster. You know, there's people still dying. I, I, I know that the people... They even got the booster. Still dying. So, the best thing to do, even when you do go out, grocery shopping, anywhere, take that sanitizer with you and, and, and wipe, you know, do this. Wipe your hands. Because, honey, people, you don't know who got this thing. I just pray to God that I don't get it. 
because I already have a lung disease. I don't have to go through all my medical conditions because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to show you my recipes. Hey guys, I need for you to start sharing these recipes for me and um, so I can be monetized. And um, I'm going to start blogging a, a, a lot. I'm just waiting to, uh, I'm going to be doing exercise. Y'all going to see me at the gym. Y'all going to see me vlogging. I'm going to put everything on YouTube, basically my life. Okay, y'all going to see my life. So, um, that's if God's willing. Because sometimes my head hurt. Sometimes my damn knees hurt. But, I, but God is good. Because I haven't had no... I have the best doctor orthopedic in the world. I'm not going to say his name, but he got me back on track. I have the best cardiologist. Okay? I have the best uh, uh, GYN doctor. I have the best colon doctor. And I'm telling you guys, because I've seen people die from colon cancer and all of that. Because you have to go to the doctor. Okay? Now, I asked my doctor, my cardiologist. I said, don't your body change every day? And you know what he told me? Yes. Your body do change every day. But not your heart. And that's what he told me. He said, because I asked him, I said, is it time of... To have my stress test again to see, because I want to know if I got any clogged arteries. Clogged arteries cause heart attacks, strokes. I don't want that, honey. I want to live to see. I, I, mm -mm. My daughter, I don't know what she would do without me. Okay? I want to live. I'm young. Okay? 50s is not old at all. So, y'all go to the doctor. That's my advice. To all my subscribers, y'all please go to the doctor and get yourself checked out, okay? Because you never know. The body do changes every day, okay? From the air, from the food we eat. Even vegetarians can get sick. Vegans, yeah, they get sick too. People that don't eat meat, they get sick, okay? But I'm just saying, get yourself checked, okay, once a year. But with the cardiologist, if you're suffering from hypertension, you have to go once a month, okay, to get yourself weighed and you know the process. They want to check you out, all right? And, um... Gynecologist is once a year. Your your PCP, your family doctor. I go every three to six months. Okay, I want to know what's going on with my body. Okay, and that's it. That's all. I'm just telling you guys to check yourselves out because the body changes every day. I've had a niece that died from a tumor, okay? That tumor was so big in her stomach, it was too late. And you want to know why it was too late? Because you have to go to the doctor. And then you got to realize those doctors just, you know, I'm not even going to say it, what I want to say because I don't know if it's against the, um, because we have certain things that we can say on this channel. Uh, it may be against my guy, um, guidelines, my copyrights. And I, 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 you know, I can't speak uh, about certain things I would love to speak about. You understand me? So, yeah. So, yeah. Get, your, get yourself checked out. Get yourself checked out. Too many people are just dying. You know, and um, also be careful with this pandemic. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Stay in. 
And that's basically all what I have to say. Let me show you guys my steak. It's cooking. That's how I want it to cook. I'm not in a rush. Let it cook. That's a nice piece of uh, Angus steak. It's huge, isn't it? I was looking for a T-bone. But honey, please. Them T-bones is expensive. Don't let nobody tell you <laughs> different. They very expensive. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, guys, so my uh, I turned my steak, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I use for my seasonings. I use some red pepper flakes, uh, Italian seasoning, I mean, um, what the hell is that? Um, basil, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, large seasoning. You understand what I'm saying? And then I just mix it all together. Like that there. Okay, y'all see me? I'm mixing all my seasonings. Like that. Get them all contributed. Okay, okay, okay. Like that there. And then... Once I get them all looking good like this, I take it and I sprinkle them. See that? On that side. Just like that there. Look at that there. Look at that there. there. That's how you do it. Okay? So let this side cook and I'll be back. Hello guys. So I'm going to give you another little tip. Of what I do with my steak. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this seasoning. Y'all see that? Bam. That's how that go. Okay. Go ahead and put the rest of that seasoning. Y'all is trust me, it's not too much. Trust in what I tell you. Okay? I do have a little leftover, but it ain't gonna hurt you to have a little leftover. It ain't gonna hurt you. This is my secret method. I take me a little soy sauce, okay, put it on over that steak. Now, this, this is what you call the wet process. You understand what I'm saying? This is the wet process. Already did the dry, now I'm doing the wet. Okay. Now. Okay, okay. I got me some um, Leah parents. Put you a little bit up there, just you know, dash it up a little bit, y'all. When I tell y'all, take this recipe down, y'all gonna be saying, "Yo, Big Rob ain't no joke." Trust in what I tell you. Trust in what I tell you. Please trust in what I tell you. Okay, then I take me some fresh garlic. I love garlic, y'all. Garlic is good for the immune system. You understand me? So just take it and go like that there. Just like that. Just like that. That's all you got to do. And do the same on that side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that cook. Y'all stand by. Don't go nowhere. Okay, guys, so I got my butter up there on top I don't have any um what you call it not parsley because I have plenty of that but it's something that goes on top of your steak y'all put it in the comments for me but anyway I got the, the I got it going on I got it going on that, all I'm saying is to take this recipe down I would never underestimate myself trust and believe in what I'm telling you trust and believe a fork in that in, in that um thing. Okay, so at this present time, I'm gonna be back with my touch. 
Okay, guys. So Big Rob is done with her steak and her garlic herb rice. As you can see, bam, that's how that go. Y'all see that. Stop playing with me. Go ahead and to subscribe so I can tell y'all how to do these recipes. I'm pretty known that there's thousands and millions of people out there that know how to cook. But honey, people have different recipes. Okay, let me show you my recipe and how to make this juicy, melt in your mouth steak. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? My steak be so good. You go ahead and rub. I got a little piece left. And rub it around that, that grill, the edges. I'm just going to say OMG. You see the rice? That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. But I will like to say this to you guys. The ones that has been supporting this channel and the ones that's not supporting this channel, keep yourself safe and sound. Come out only if you have to. Know that I love you and God love you too. Peace.